Hello everybody, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. The Timix here and we are back with the Zenith Remnant Expansion Game 7.3 or High Normal Difficulty. And we're looking at Yavin, where the mining golems have completed their work. And you can see the planet, well it's, it's not really there anymore. There's one nice big chunk here and a bunch of smaller ones, but that's gone. All the buildings remain. You can see this is flashing because they have no supply here. And the resources are gone. The knowledge appears to remain, but if you look at this, there's no metal, there's no energy, there's no nothing there. No places to harvest it. So that's largely a dead system, and I'm sure we'll eventually find other systems the mining golems probably hit. I'm assuming it wasn't just these three. Of course, we turn things back in Puck and Jupiter and stop them from doing us any damage. And I've got an idea on how to move forward. The first thing is, there's something I discovered about the science labs not that long ago that I wanted to put to use. And that is that they can spy on the advanced research stations. Here in Iapetus is one of them. And I did some raiding in Jakku to get in here. Did Tachyon Gate raiding because these ships are cloaked. And this is going to be leaving very soon. But I just popped it in here to show this. Now, we've got all the normal stuff for our science lab. But then it also has the ARS tab. Normally we'll get the one on the left. So if we just took over this system, it would give us the Etherjet tractor. But if you do the research redirection hack, which costs 35 for the first one, so we can see that there. And we could do that now. We have enough hacking for it. Then you can pick. If we could take the electric bomber or we could take the vampire claw, which <laughs> those have been causing us some trouble. I'm not too sure about the vampire claws. I'm not sure if I want to get them or not, but I definitely like the electric bomber. I'd like to take that. And the reason is a couple things. One, it's another version of a bomber. It's got a nice attack, 758 every 12 seconds. Can't build that many of them at 19 each, but a neutron hull, so it's not the polycrystal that our starting bombers have. That gives us some variety against different attacks. It could use fit the role that the auto cannon minipod did in the last game and go places where the regular bombers would be vulnerable. And then it's also immune to a couple things, including being insta-killed. If you look at that engine health of 2,000 plus not being able to be insta-killed, these would be very useful on planets going along with our starships that have a bunch of ion cannons. Or if even if there's a planet that had, had ion cannons and an anti-starship defense, then these would be really useful as something that would actually be effective there. So I really like these. The problem is we would need a hack in order to do that. Do that research redirection hack. And we don't have a planet next to this one. I don't plan on taking one. Could take Jakku or Europa, but I don't really want to. And it's a Mark IV planet that we've got to hack with only the fleet. I think I definitely want to save that for later. But I do eventually want to do it. And then that would also put us in good range of Celestia, where there's an one of the AI co-processors, that'll definitely be helpful. And Dysnomia, where the botnet golem is sitting. And so this is a good strategic thing. I'm going to need this system eventually to move out into this area. But we're going to hold off on that. And one of the reasons is, you know, I could go off somewhere else. But if you've got another easy target, why not take it? There's another golem in Geonosis, going to wait for that as well. I want to head down here to Thule. And there's another advanced research station there. I did the same trick with discovering what we're going to get and I like there was an auto cannon mini pod there as well and something else but I like the option that we're going to get by default which is that zenith mirror ship that reflects back most non-missile damage so I think that would be a nice addition to our fleet I might even try getting those and up and getting some of the more higher mark versions of them I might want to invest in that later so this is going to be next and also exploring off of this way I'd also like to explore some off of Mercury. I just realized that I hadn't finished that up, and that's only two jumps away. By the way, this is the Devour Golem in there. Nothing to worry about. And the same stupid cloaked vampire claws are just hanging out in Aspasia and doing nothing. And we've got just over half of the galaxy scouted now. By count was 63. That could be off a planet or two one way or the other. But just over half of the galaxy, there's only so many places left now for the stuff that we're looking for to, uh, to be. You know, I mean, there's another AI coprocessor that we want. Homeworlds are somewhere in that other half. Data centers, I'm sure there's probably at least a couple more of those out there. The advanced factories, advanced starship constructors, and probably one or two more of the advanced research stations as well, among other things. I think this is our best way forward. It's a Mark III planet right next to us. 
we can go in and take that out fairly easily at this point, I would expect. Now, I also put some thought into upgrading our turrets, and I decided not to do that yet because I want to conserve the metal. I did have pretty high metal for a while, so I invested a little bit in one of our golems here. And this is the cheaper of the golems, by the way. The broken regenerator golem is now up to 42%, was at 25%. So we put, I think, a couple three million into that. And you can see, like, I had to upgrade the engineer's assist large projects to 501 because it's worth 500 a second. Now, if we were to go into Sedna and take a look at the artillery, artillery golem there, excuse me, that one is at 938. We have to bump it up to 939. And so instead of doing that and having a whole bunch of metal go out to multiple golems, I'm just going to take these one at a time from the cheaper to the more expensive ones. And that way we'll get something to assist us. Quicker. I want to save as much metal as I can now though for just building up turrets and new systems and whatnot but also the rest of it going to the power generator which is at two-thirds of the way and if I can leave it on it only take 20 more minutes and so I figure once I get that in place then I can really upgrade and be a lot more solid with our defense we do still of course have the munitions boosters out there but I would still like to really upgrade our turrets and have a very strong defense going on. And uh, those Mark V munitions boosters are really getting the job done for me. I can't say enough about how much easier they've made this game. AI progress is getting close to that tech level 2 level, and it's going to get there very soon as we're going to be attacking Thule before long. Thule has an interesting combination of defenses up in this area. We had a nice open area here to get to, and that wasn't too bad. But they have... And Arachnid anti-starship guard posts, so we we'll want to keep our starships away. And they've also got a missile guard post near enough by to guard it. So that left me with not a whole lot that I could use. See, we got fighters, missile frigates, and munitions boosters. And that's all I really can send up against this that wouldn't necessarily take particularly big losses. So, and of course the frigates are going to move slowly. It's going to take them a while to get into range. But here comes the heavy beam guardian. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And not much left of my fighters. So we're taking a significant amount here. Oh, here comes some more fun things. Let's see. And yeah, I think I'm just going to retreat back now. I have taken out the missile guard post. Oh, here comes Marauders. So there's all kinds of fun stuff happening here. We're just going to have to do some clearing out before we can really do anything. Let's get everything going up this way as soon as we get rid of those Marauders. There they are. Bunch of riot control here. I think I want to focus in here and then deal with the marauders later. Yeah. So they're not too happy with us attacking Thule. It's always good to clear out some of the AI special forces anyway. They will eventually stop coming, right? Ooh, Malkav Command Station under attack. Hold on, what's going on there? Because I noticed there was attack in Aspasia, attacking only seven ships. What's hitting us with only seven ships? Plasma Siege Mark IV. Let me take a look at those other systems first. Got a Wave and Puck. They've got a Plasma Siege and... 180 space planes. That's that's just a Mark One, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. Aspasia, I thought, had been fine. And they've got some bombardment ships I may want to go in and help clear out. They're taking out some of our tractor beam turrets. But overall, they've got some vampire claws. Overall, though, we've immobilized a lot of them. I think we're going to be okay here. And they've got, okay, they've got a bunch of ships that just want to hang out in here. That's weird. 
Are they all sniper immune? No. So we'll get to them. Okay. That's not bad. Let's just make sure that this takes care of itself. Yep. Okay. Got off one more shot. Doggone it. Yeah. <sighs> Well, that sucks. But I've got most of the stuff left, including the Remains Rebuilder. So that should rebuild it whenever I have time. There shouldn't be any permanent issue here. It's just really freaking annoying. Okay. Glad I had extra energy. But that just sort of points up the need for more defenses to kill those faster. I think we might... Is this thing shooting at us? Not that I can tell. Yeah, every five seconds. I'd be seeing it. Okay, we haven't gotten too close to it, but we do not want to get much closer here. Let's move over this way. Let's take those out. My scouts came in here and I didn't notice. I want them to go to the other... Yeah, to that system. That's the one we haven't investigated yet. So yeah, I've lost at least a couple hundred chips in this system. They are they are having some fun. Let's uh, slide our way down here. Get that spider guardian out of the way. Please. Okay. Moved on to Typhon. Which is where? Okay, that's over here. Okay, yeah, and if any of these survive, it won't be much. Anything in there worth noting? There's just a train station. Nothing too exciting. So what I need to do here in Thule, I think... You need to separate out the starships, keep them over here, and then send the fleet ships in, clean these up, and that arachnid post. And then we should be able to take control of things much better. I think I just want to make a beeline for that. Get rid of it, and then everybody can go engage again. Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to do this, and I just want to go after, and we might even be shot at by some other guard posts, but I want to go after all of these Zenith Bombardment. Get rid of them. Get rid of that one. Okay, and I don't think there's actually much left here. We've got, okay, we've got a laser guard post. That's nearby. I think we'll just send everybody in and smash it instead of trying to get too cute. Command station, shields, special forces. So this laser should be the last thing that even offers any significant resistance. I think it should be all over but the shouting here. They put a bit of a fight, but nothing too terrible. Well, we have finally done it. We have a Zenith power generator online. Look at all that lovely energy. So now we have almost a million extra. We're literally using just over half. And it's time to do our lovely big turret upgrade. Now, we did find a couple more things of interest out here. There are even more broken golems. Notice we've cut off this entire wing over here, so there's nothing else going away from it. I'm working on Papagena, Philomela, Merapi. Those are the last three. But over here in Calliope, now there is an alarm post here, so we'll trigger that when we eventually go in here. But this has one. The Cursed Golem. Less durable, but has higher high firepower with virtually infinite range. So another artillery golem type thing, only a little bit different version of it. And then we have the Black Widow, 
which does basically what the Widow Astro Train does, only better. It can catch and immobilize large groups of ships with many high-range, paralyzing tractor beams and powerful engine-destroying multi-shot cannons. So we've got a lot more golems to deal with than I thought. These are moderately expensive, 30 to 40 million. So all of that's going to be coming. Lots of metal going to be going out. Now, let's see, where is my... Yeah, I've got a research station in here. Because at the moment, what I want to do is do some upgrades. Turrets. Now, we definitely need more tractor beams. We're almost out of the Mark 1, so we'll hit those. Mark 2 tractor beams. And then we're going to hit Mark 3 all the way down the line. Needler, laser, MLRS, missile, flak, lightning... I will go with the Mark II Heavy Beam Cannon as well. Mark III Sniper. I think I'm okay with just the regular Spiders for now. And yeah, that should do it. Now that only took up a little over half our energy, we, or knowledge rather. We had over 20,000 saved up, and we still have over 8,000. So we've still got plenty there. So I'm going to unlock the Mark II Hardened Force Field Generator. And I think I'll unlock some more ships. I'd like I think I want to get the Spire Starship. Let's get Mark II of the Human Raid Starship. And that's probably not all I'm gonna get. But I'm gonna ponder, now that we're down to just over four thousand, I'm probably gonna hold off and ponder what else we build. Get all of that stuff constructed. Improving the fleet some, but it's really at this point got just over two million metal. And I'm gonna be pouring a lot of metal now into our turrets going to be a lot of building up of those off screen and over in Thule we had a little bit an issue an astro train flowed in here took off a bunch of our ships over to Typhon they were taken out that dumped a there's a train station there that they hauled them off to and they just got destroyed by ion cannons that dumped another reprisal wave on our head so we had a mark one reprisal wave from that mark one reprisal wave from here but none of that really bothered us too much and at one point we had six and we still have five different systems gathering scrap. I did send in some more reinforcements though. We took out the barracks without too much trouble and everything is set in here except of course for the turrets. We'll need to get those. So there should be a fairly lengthy part of building defenses but then I just want to keep scouting. We've got now one, two, three, four more of these to grab and this Iapetus. We've got five for sure systems that I want to get. On top of the 11 we already have, that's 16, and we not even getting close to, well, might be getting close, but don't know where the AI homeworlds are. So there is still a lot of work to do, and a ton of metal to be expended. And, of course, the faster that I can expand, the more metal I can bring in to keep building all these golems from taking super forever, as opposed to the simply forever that they're already guaranteed to take. Well, it's taken well over half an hour, probably close to 45 minutes, but we do have all of the new defenses in place. Take a quick look at Leticia. And we're just putting in new tractor beams, the Mark II versions in here. I want to really make sure that was protected with those. We've got a full fleet cap or full turret cap of everything. If we take a look at here, you see it's zero all the way across. And the spider turrets. Now, I didn't do that much everywhere. What I did do is I boosted up to 30 in the other systems, 30 of the mainline turrets. I may put more in Malcav 11 because it's got unfortunate defensive position. But then I had 15 of the flak and the lightning. So we're at about a two-thirds in the other systems and full in our home world. I also added one of the new Mark II hardened force fields in there for some extra protection. But our main upgrade of our defenses that really should take us through most if not all the rest of the game is in place I didn't put any more heavy beam cannons in place stuff like that I just want to sort of add slowly over time but I really should be able to switch over to an offensive stance and you see the AI progress is just tipped over into tech level 2 and I want to do something about that while the rest of this builds and what I've done is I've put because we've found uh, the other AI coprocessor in Eris. So we've got Eris, we've got Titan, we've got Nemesis, and Celestia, and those are the four of them. Now I've got two salt transports here to hit Nemesis and Celestia, and I've got one in Eris, 
or not one in Eris, but one in Jupiter to head to Eris. It seems to be as good of a path to get there as anyway. That's a bit of a long journey. And one in Malkav 11 to head up to Titan. And of course, my goal here is to try to hit them all at the same time. And in each transport, I've got one or two of the raid starships. And given how limited the health is, the co-processors seem to be just like the data center. So I'm hoping that should be enough. Time to send them all out. And here Nemesis is pretty much the first one to arrive. So I'm going to get going on this and then quickly head off to see what's happening with the others. And, whoa, okay, I thought I was going a little bit closer. Nonetheless. Okay, and this group has one of each Mark. One Raid Starship, one Mark II Raid Starship. Hit that thing. There we go. Plus 20, we have progress. Head back in, head back to Sedna. Now let's check on the other groups. I think this one is here. Oh. We, um... <laughs> it apparently got destroyed. Let's very quickly hit that. There we go. That's two. You head back to Sedna. And I don't think we're in Eris yet probably in here okay this is almost dead I'm gonna have to watch that one and then the other one was going to Titan and is almost there okay so a lot of stopping and going to make sure we get this done you head over there let's check out the other one let's make sure see because I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the wormhole or not Yes, I am. But that's all I'm going to make it through. So you need to immediately go all the way over here. Underneath that force field. And that's a Mark II. I sent a Mark II on this. But only one of them. So that one could be interesting. I may have to come back here. Hopefully not. Hopefully you'll make it. Of course, I don't care if I lose the starship. I care whether or not we succeed in the mission. Okay, yeah, you've stopped. Unload. And hit your target. There you go. And no point in getting back in the transport because it's not going to make it through. All of you go back here. Then let's check out Eris. And this should be the last one. And I think we're going to make it. Bingo! It went up, but then it went back down. So now we're down to 168. We gained 60 AI progress in the right direction. Or, looking at it another way, we gained 5 hours worth of the gradual increase. So you head back, if you can, to Jupiter. And now we'll need to clean up all of our ships. But that's a nice little way to finish off the deal. And also gives us a bunch more hacking. Which is very nice as well, because we get we get the plus 80 hacking for each of those. So now we got plenty of that available. We've added some more threat. Big surprise there. Might want to hit that stuff in Melpamine. And though we're having a raid in Anti-Cheese, which I'm sure is probably going just fine. But these turrets are still finishing building. Yeah, it's not going to be too big of trouble. What kind of ship is that? It's a regular flagship. Okay, that won't be any trouble at all. So now we sh I should really be able to switch and focus on the attack. We did find in Utapau up here, there's a planetary armor booster. So if we capture that, would be nice. And a zenith power generator. We could take another one of these. The problem is it's right next to a wormhole. Again, the armor booster isn't, but the power generator isn't. That doesn't make me very happy. That's a to-be-considered later. Up here in Willy Tong we found an advanced starship constructor. Now, if that was an advanced factory, I'd be going for it right away. But the starship constructor is one of those things, I may very well want to take this late. Probably want to take one of them. It's uh, not too interested in that. And this is all cut off, scouting-wise. It doesn't appear that there's anything up here unless something stretches out from Strix Nebulosa or something. So it looks like this up in here, this arc, pushing out into this space. That's where our scouting is going. But we're starting to cut things off. 
in terms of the different options, which again is more and more progress with the scouting. But I think going forward right from now is we're just gonna I'm just gonna want to continue the scouting where I can, but also just work on hitting those systems that we're gonna be able to hit so that we can boost our metal, take the AI progress that goes with it, and get working more and more investment into the golem. And I think I want to get Geonosis sooner rather than later so that I can continue scouting out this way. But all of that will be coming up next time. Thanks everybody for watching. It's starting to get really interesting in this run. And AI Warfleet Command will return soon.